About time. Told you not to make me wait. <laughs> You'd complain no matter how fast I got here. So, what do you want to talk to me about? I'm looking for something. Did Captain Seto leave a package with you? Captain Seto? No, he didn't. <laughs> he had said he wanted to give me something. He couldn't keep that promise. But if he left it for me somewhere, I'd like to have it. Oh, so it's like a keepsake then. That's right. He didn't give it to you. So do you have any idea where he would put something like that? Hmm. Maybe the hideout. I don't remember anything like that, though. Maybe you saw it, but you just forgot. I guess, maybe. I don't even know what it is. It must be some kind of small package or box. I think. Just go check the hideout again. Hang on. You want me to look for it? I don't have time for that. I don't have time either. You can use your psychokinesis to search faster, can't you? You're the perfect man for the job. He's acting all high and mighty. He should be more humble if he's asking a favor. But if there really is a gift for Shiden, Captain Seto would be happy if I gave it to him. Fine, I'll look, but don't pout if I can't find it. What? I don't pout. I'm not a kid. Just get going. You're back. Did you find something? Yeah. I found a case with your name written on it in a corner of the hideout. I don't know if it's what you're looking for. Let me see. This is a battle mask. Captain Seto left this for me. So it was a gift from him. Is that a card in there with it? Yeah, looks like it. Dear Shiden, I'm sorry I couldn't put you in my platoon. This doesn't make up for it, but here's a gift. This mask contains special electrodes that will make it easier to control the direction of your electrokinesis. It's the same type as mine. Yours is specially made. I hope you like it. Shiden, you are the hardest worker I've ever seen in the OSF. I know you'll continue to grow stronger. So trust in your own strength. I know you'll be even better than me. I don't plan on losing, though. We'll be good rivals. I can't believe he thought so highly of me. Damn it! There was so much I wanted to learn from him. You were good friends with Captain Seto. He was the only one in the OSF who saw something in me. He was a very special person. I only fought with him for a short time. But I know that he was an amazing man. He was calm, dependable, and kind to everyone. I want to be like him someday. You want to be like Captain Seto? You say it like anyone can do it. If someone like you could be like him, I would have been just like him a long time ago. What's wrong with you? I understand you think highly of him, but I work hard too. You don't get it, rich boy. Just working hard won't get you very far in this world. I can't believe you think you can get to his level. You have no idea what you're talking about. Fine, I won't say it anymore. You got your gift, so I'm out of here. Hey, wait! What? I haven't thanked you for finding this mask yet. Well done. Was that his idea of a thank you? I did it for Captain Seto. Tell me if you need me again. If I feel like it. He's pompous, rude, and really mean. But he's not all bad, I guess. If I'm as open-minded as Captain Seto, will I see him differently?
Yuito, thank you for coming. You look well. Oh, yeah. Uh, you look well, too. <laughs> Just talk normally. It's not like I'm your boss. <laughs> I guess that's true. Okay, I will. Um, what did you want to talk about? Actually, I want to ask you about Gemma. We fought together when he was in Kyoka Platoon. We fight on different sides now, so I was wondering how he's doing. Gemma seems fine. But now that you mention it, he does look tired sometimes. That's what I was worried about. He can be too serious and awkward. Maybe he should pick up a hobby or something to take his mind off of work. You really do care about your friends. It makes me kind of jealous of Gemma. It would be encouraging to have someone who cared that much about my well-being. Well, now you're making me embarrassed. You never had someone like me to hover over you? My father and brother were always busy with work. The servants were nice to me. But I didn't have someone as kind as you to take care of me. Not since my mom died. I'm not as kind as all that. It's just that my friends who fight with me in the OSF are the same as family. Even when we're apart, I always wonder if everyone's all right. Also, Gemma isn't the only one I'm concerned about. I worry about you, too. What? Me? Of course. Since we're both here, let me check up on you. You're not sick or anything? Uh, no. I've been pretty busy, but I feel pretty good now. Really? Well, no matter how busy you are, make sure to eat three meals a day and stay warm when you sleep so you don't catch cold. Oh, right. I got a really good charm recently. Um, where did I put it? No, that's fine. You don't have to worry that much. This is kind of embarrassing. Is this what it's like to have a mother hovering over you? Oh, really? That's too bad. But okay. We should talk again sometime. See you later. Why is Kyoka so kind to me? It's not like I was in her platoon or talked with her very much. Yuito, sorry. Why are you apologizing? That white flower. I told you I would look into it, but I still don't know the name. Don't worry about it. I'm not in a rush or anything. Thank you for continuing to search for it. I will definitely find it. I will show you that blooming flower. So wait. Okay, I'll wait. But don't push yourself. Just do it when you have time. Uh, uh, wait. Hmm? What? Um... Huh. It looks like she wants to say something. I feel bad for putting pressure on her, so I'll wait a little. <sighs> um... How... Is your stomach feeling recently? Uh, my stomach? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess I haven't had much of an appetite lately. You should take some medicine. Thanks, I will. How did you know my stomach wasn't feeling well? My power. Oh, that's right. You're clairvoyant. So you have the ability to see inside my body. I do my best not to look into people's bodies, but it's hard to control. Sometimes I catch a glimpse. That's a useful power, but it sounds a little gross. That must be hard, Sugumi. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have looked without permission. Oh, don't worry about it. 
You see my organs is less embarrassing than if you saw me naked. Also, you told me because you were concerned. So, thanks. But... I still shouldn't have done it. Huh. How come you're always so hard on yourself? It happened a long time ago, when I was little. I wasn't as good at using my power then. I saw a lot that I shouldn't have. Inside bodies, inside rooms, people's secrets, things I didn't want to see. I didn't know it was bad, and I saw something my friend was hiding. I told everyone about it. And my friend and all the adults were afraid of me. I was alienated. Everyone hated me. I didn't want people to hate me anymore. So I became afraid to talk to anyone. So I... I'm always careful not to see or talk about people's secrets. But... That sounds pretty terrible. Yeah. I did a bad thing. That's not what I mean. You were just a kid. There was nothing you could do. Those adults should have known better. I'm sorry that happened to you when you were little. Um... Uh, um... But it wasn't all bad. Really? From what I just heard, it sounds terrible. I didn't have any human friends. But my grandpa taught me about plants. My grandpa liked bonsai. And he knew a lot about plants. He taught me that plants are friends who don't talk. Friends who don't talk? Yes. Well, not with words, anyway. But with the shape of their branches, or the state of their leaves, they can tell us a lot. And when we're sad, they're always silently by our side. When I heard that, I started to like plants, too. I see. Your grandpa sounds really nice. <laughs> Thanks for the talk, Sagumi. Thank you for listening. Take care of yourself. Yeah, I will. Friends who don't talk, huh? Well, Sagumi doesn't talk much either, but she cares a whole lot. I guess liking plants is something we have in common. Yeah? What is it? Thanks. For everything. Huh? <laughs> sure, you too.
are you going somewhere, Gemma? I'm going to Sumeragi Tomb to pay my respects. I have a friend buried there. I'm sorry for going at a time like this. I plan to come back as soon as possible. Sumeragi Tomb? Would you mind if I tagged along? I've never been out with you before, and I like going there. I don't mind. Shall we go then? Gemma hasn't come back yet. I guess paying your respects isn't something you rush. Maybe I'll go get my fortune told while I'm waiting. Oh, that Baki collaboration should still be going on. Whoa! Sorry to keep you waiting. What's the matter? Is that a fortune? The fortune came with a Baki keychain I didn't have yet. You really do love this Baki. I mean, look how cute he is! Such a round and adorable face. Are those popular? Sorry, I just can't relate to young people. Yeah, really popular. They're often featured in magazines. They're so popular, they have a collaboration with Sumeragi Toon. Do you want to give it a try? No, I'll pass. We've been here long enough. I had a lot to share since I hadn't been here in a while. You said you were here to see a friend. Can I ask whose grave? Some friends of mine. My parents, too. My family originally had a separate grave, but we moved them to this communal tomb since we're dismantling our own. Dismantling? I don't have any siblings or children. Since the Garrison family will end with me, there's no more need for individual graves. But you could have children in the future. I heard there are a lot of people who get married after retiring from the OSF. I'm sure a lot of people do, but I don't know anything beyond fighting. Besides, I could die in battle before I get to retire, just like my friends buried here. You haven't retired yet, but you're already thinking about your life ending? My actual age is already past 50. I think it's normal for OSF members my age to be thinking about their closing chapters. Really? I didn't think 50 plus was an age you'd be thinking about this kind of stuff yet. Besides, you could still fall in love. Nobody knows what could happen in the future. Fall in love? I don't think so. Although, I guess I can't say it's completely impossible. Yeah, there's still a possibility. You never know what might happen if you try new things. You might realize you shouldn't be wasting your time acting all old. Do I act old? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I am actually old, after all. That's what I'm talking about. That right there. It's not good. I mean, you should just be more positive about this. We're children of the state. Try incorporating your inner child. Inner child? Like how? You better not suggest kick the can or spinning tops. No, I'm not talking about what they did in ancient times. I mean, more like trying out the latest trends. Latest trends? No, I'm too... Actually, this magazine that had a feature on Baki made a list of trendy new restaurants and foods. I'm kind of interested, so do you want to go with me sometime? To be honest, I'm not all too interested, but I can see how you're doing this for me. I guess I could try it once. Great! I'll look into it then. Thanks, Gemma. Oh, I should be the one thanking you.
rougher training, but this is good practice too. <laughs> I guess I should take a break. Yuito, wake up! What is it, Hanabi? TV. A tabloid show. The Suo incident caused by Karin Travers is causing much confusion. The assassination of Chairman Sumeragi, ordered by Travers, brought great shock to New Himuka. Dad. We've drawn up an image of the witness account of the culprit, Kasane Randall, shown here. <gasps> Kasane? What's going on? That is awful. You can see the suspect's features so clearly. Hey, are you all watching the news? Wataru. Kasane's family and the OSF refused to provide a picture. Crow's streaming data was also deleted, so all they could do was draw up a picture of her. Man, I feel a little bad for Kasane. Oh, sorry, Yuito. I probably shouldn't say that. No, it's okay. 
I'm feeling a little bad too. Yuito, you smile. Thank goodness. What? Oh, right. I made everyone worry. I'm sorry. Just let us worry. That's all we can do. It looks like there are no after effects from the brain field. Thank goodness. It was your voices that brought me back. It was like... I wasn't myself anymore. Brainfield really is powerful, but you can't use it when you're emotional. I wasn't thinking straight. I knew it was a risky move, but I didn't imagine it would be this bad. Powers are affected by emotions, so it's probably the same with Brainfields. If you can control it, it will be a powerful tool. So it's all in how you use it? That's a little scary. Just be careful using it. Anyone can change staying in a place like that. Oh, yeah. Chief Sumeragi wants you to come to HQ. My brother. Okay, I'll be right there. Wataru, uh, about your sister. Haruka? Don't worry about her. She's impulsive, unlike me. So she probably got concerned while looking after Kasane and the others. And ended up going along with them. What? Your sister is involved with Kasane? Oh, you didn't know? She's Kasane's operator. And that's just how things are, so don't sweat it. But thanks. <laughs> okay, hurry up and get going before you anger the chief. Okay, let's go back to Suo. Yuito? What happened? Why did you stop? <laughs> what? Um... Weren't we just talking at the hideout? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Huh? When did we get back to Suo? Sorry to keep you waiting. We banned all interviews so crows would get off our backs. So it's okay now. Huh? Lieutenant Colonel Luca? Yuito, I asked you to just call me Luca. You're in command now. What? Wait a second. You mean when I was provisional commander during the Suo incident? No. You were just made commander by Major General Fubuki. When was that? Huh? You're acting strange. Wataru. Is there anything strange about Yuito's cerebral data? No, nothing in particular. You don't remember meeting Major General Fubuki? No. We've been reassigned to OSF First Platoon. You're the leader and we're going out on patrol. Ugh. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should get checked out at the OSF hospital ASAP. What about the patrol? If things are hairy, I'll call the higher-ups. You're the leader. I can't force you to. But would you please go to the hospital? Yeah. You'll get peace of mind if you do. Right. You're right. Okay. I'll do that. I'll tell command about the patrol. As for getting to the hospital... Oh, my uncle is the chief doctor, so I'll take him. Also, because my uncle runs the show, if I send him a message, he'll be looked at right away. No need to worry. It's likely the result of exhaustion.
There seems to be an excess of psionic hormones leaking in your brain, causing temporary confusion. I'll give you a prescription to stop the leakage that you can fill at our pharmacy. Take it when symptoms appear. Okay. Thank you. Private Sumaragi, the brave fighter who protected Suo from others in the Suo incident. In an unprecedented promotion, he was appointed to Commander of First Platoon. What is this? I didn't do any of that. It may not be exactly what you want, but deal with it for now. It's a request from Chief Kaito and the government. They want to raise you up as a hero who saved the country. Wait. That's right. We did talk about that. I can't remember most of it, though. Now, let's have a look at 2nd Lieutenant Yuito Sumeragi's March of Victory. Don't bother with the news. The media always does whatever they want. So how was it? Figure anything out? Yeah. They said it was exhaustion. I have to wait here for a bit for my prescription to be ready. Council Chairman Joe Sumeraki, slain at the hands of assassin Kasane Randall in the Suo incident. In light of such a dire event, our courageous second lieutenant, Yuito Sumeraki. Hey, if we have time to kill, why not look around the hospital? I didn't get a chance to show you around before. <laughs> You're very kind, Hanabi. Hey. At least it's far better than watching the crow's propaganda. Yeah, let's do that. Hold on. That woman looks like she's in trouble. Excuse me. Is everything all right? Oh, sorry. I'm a dud. I, I just can't see the hospital's vision. A dud? Forgive me. I'm inept, so I can't activate the system that responds to powers. Do you know where the neurology department is? I can show you the way. People without powers are called duds? You really were raised with a silver spoon in your mouth. It's because, well, how can I put it? They don't really have much mental ability. That's a pretty harsh nickname. It is, but people without powers tend to refer to themselves as duds rather than inept. They probably have an aversion to admitting they have less brain power. Unable to use powers. That must be so inconvenient. Yes, I'm sure it is. The town's vision and even Sinet were created with powers in mind. I've heard that only 0.1% of the population is inept. I really think the government should give more consideration to them. Apparently at the OSF hospital, they're conducting research on ineptitude and how to cure it. Getting rid of the inept must be a goal for the government. Duds. Hmm. Why does that remind me of something? What's wrong, Hanabi? What's with that face? Well, when I brought that woman to the neurology center, I heard a nurse talking about some bus for urgent patients. Why would they put urgent patients on a bus? A bus? I must have heard wrong. I'm sorry. A bus is here. Underground. Underground? 
Why would a bus be underneath the hospital? They should make it come to the main entrance. The underground road is a special passage to leave the city. Hmm. There's no data on the OSF hospital, which means we have no idea what's going on inside. It wouldn't surprise me if they used an underground road to bring in emergency patients. Urgent patients? The Ichijo OSF hospital's old building is outside of Suo. You mean Lokusho City? I heard it was badly attacked by others ten years ago. That not even ruins are left. That's right. Did you used to live in Lokusho City? No. I was born and raised in Suo because my father was disinherited from the Ichijo's main branch. I only went to Lokusho City every once in a while. But the hospital you were in was the old OSF hospital in Lokusho, right? I even went there to visit you. Right. When Lokusho was attacked, my mother was killed. <gasps> Nagi is on the bus? What? Nagi? Yeah. He was filed under missing persons. I might have been mistaken. Sorry, I can't track him. I'm not allowed access inside the hospital. All right. Sugumi, tell us where the bus with Nagi was headed. I've sent the coordinate data. It's in the direction of the old OSF hospital in the Lokusho city ruins. Let's all go. If Nagi is alive, I want to see him and talk to him. Yeah, we need to make sure that really was Nagi. So this is the old OSF hospital. I was very young when I stayed here, so I don't remember much about it. There was nothing left of Lokusho. Aren't others only after human brains? Would they destroy the buildings? Good point. If this building is still being used, maybe they cleaned it up on purpose. Huh. It sounds like you have some information we aren't aware of. Right, uh, sorry. I do in fact believe that it's still currently being used. That's why I think it's likely that Nagi was brought here. Why do you think such an old facility is still being used? Well, once you get to be in the OSF leadership, you start to learn all sorts of information. I heard that the old hospital was being used for some type of operation several times. Is he hiding something? Tsukumi, the bus with Nagi went beneath this facility, right? Yes, but be careful. There are a lot of areas I can't see through inside. This place is dangerous. I can't read this place's data either. I won't be able to give you much support. Be careful. Okay, everyone. Stay on your toes. I want to ask you. Looks like there's a resource nearby. Damn! 
We can't go further. Do we look for a different route then? That or break our way through here? I don't think we need to resort to that. We should be able to get by using my power. Uh, it looks like the enemy dropped something rare. Do it all. Big attack on Lokusho was 11 years ago. That was when the old OSF hospital was abandoned and the new facility moved to sewer. Yes, along with all of the patients and equipment. Keep this up. And we trust the government announcement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
begins to burn with fire and will drain your health, so be careful. Now die! Regroup. Thanks. This doesn't make sense. Why would there be others inside? The biggest reason others are here is for food. They want our brains. It doesn't look like there are many humans for them to feast on. Have you heard anything about this place from your uncle? No, not really. And I only really see him at New Year's, so... There he is! Nagi! <sighs> Nagi! Nagi, wait! You're safe! Yuito... We were worried about you. Your name was on the missing persons list. Plus, I wanted to ask you about what happened. I'm... Sorry. Nagi, what made you do that to us? How should I know? Huh? It feels like my brain just suddenly froze. And my head is all messed up. It won't stop spinning. How could that be? Please, you can't stay here. What? What's gotten into... If you stay here, you'll be rehabilitated just like me. So that's what's going on. The rumors were true. Rehabilitation? Nagi? What's that? An alarm? More others! They must have been watching us. I'll take care of this. Get out of here! No, I'll fight too! I said no! There's no telling when I might snap and try to kill you guys again. Just like with Captain Seto. I can't let that happen. I'm begging you, get out of here! Then at least come with us. I can't. I just told you I could snap and turn on you any second. I'll find my own way out. You guys, go on ahead. They're gonna rehabilitate you if they catch you. Or worse. They'll skip that and turn you into an other! What are you talking about? <laughs> but that's... Yuito... I'm sorry. Luca, why? You were panicking. It was best to do what Nagi said and leave the hospital immediately. But don't you care that they might be turning people into others? We can talk later. We need to regroup. This is the only place I could secure as a safe teleporting zone. We have no choice but to go on foot from here. They must already realize that we know too much. It would be best for us to run. I know this isn't what you want, Yuito. Normally, we would be following your orders since you're the leader. But this place is far more dangerous than we imagined. Please allow me to do what I can to prioritize our escape. Okay. Everyone, let's 
keep an eye out for others while we move. It's too dangerous to go back. It may be cruel, but we should prioritize our escape. It's too dangerous to go back. It may be cruel, but we should prioritize our escape. Go, Yuito! Right, but I just wonder if Nagi's okay. 
Damn it. Others are everywhere. We'll never make it to the exit. Can you make it out of the hospital by yourself, Luca? No. Teleporting is too dangerous in areas where there are this many others. Calm down. If Wataru doesn't have the data either, I have to rely on my own memories for the route to the exit. My memories... Can I even trust my own memories?
I wasn't paying attention either. Sorry. And thanks. Sure thing. More importantly... Others are coming this way. Let's take them on. Bad.
use this. Managed to take it down. Is everyone okay? Others are gathering. Damn it. Why are there so many others? Watcher, Sugumi, are there any safe spots nearby? As I've said before, there's absolutely no data on this old building. Sorry. There are others everywhere. What? <laughs> this there you are major general fubuki everyone come with me we'll lose those others by following the underground highway through the ruins of lokusho city Um, where are we? Is this a safe zone? Safe zone? What is that? A blind spot in Nuhimuka's surveillance system. We call it the safe zone. We'll be able to talk here freely. We could talk outside of the city, but we don't want to be seen by any patrolling OSF members. I never knew about this. If you want to talk here, that must mean it's something you don't want the government to know. I suppose it does. Had I known sooner that you were going to OSF Hospital, I might have been able to scheme better. You must have known what kind of place the OSF Hospital was. Yes. Seems like you didn't hear anything about it. They conduct power research at that hospital, funded by the New Himuka government. They draw out stronger powers by tuning the human cerebrum. I had no idea they were doing such things at my uncle's hospital. Oh, right. That hospital belongs to the Ichijo family. Listen, what I'm about to say may be hard for you to hear. Huh? As a result of the cerebral research conducted there, a number of byproducts were created. Personality rehabilitation. Yes. They tune the brains of people who are problematic for the government, pacifying them by brainwashing. The government found out that Nagi witnessed Naomi being metamorphosed so that's why he ended up that way. What? But Gemma Kasane and I saw the same thing. You were all protected under the pretense that I would be monitoring you. But Nagi was captured by the government before I could help him. I'm sorry. If only I'd been able to get a hold on the information sooner. Um, what do you mean Naomi was metamorphosed? I thought she was killed in action. Oh. I see. Naomi wasn't killed in action. She turned into another. Are you really saying that she turned into another? Naki said something similar, but is that even possible? That's a byproduct of New Himuka's research as well. A special material is able to turn organisms into others. Any organism with a brain can be turned into an other. Wait. Then does that mean it was the government that turned Naomi into an other? Yes. I'd love to sit here and tell you everything, but staying in the city is dangerous. Most likely, the government has already given the order to hand you over to them. I want you all to go out on patrol. I'll do what I can to take care of everything while you're out. Hold on. How is it that you haven't been subjected to rehabilitation despite knowing all of this? It seems like Luca knew too. Right. That's why Luca wanted to prioritize escaping rather than talk to Nagi. It's simple. I'm one of the government's dogs. Luca should have heard some of this from Karin. If you're curious, ask him. Yes. We should go out on patrol. I'll tell you what my brother told me along the way. Yuito, can you please direct us where to go? All right. Let's head to Kikuchiba.
Ship reading is close. Should we get it? This place is too exposed. We should go somewhere more private. You're on patrol, so make sure you take out those others. We're always together. <laughs>
This area should be safe enough to talk. Is it true that the new Himuka government was transforming people into others? Yes, it was a long time ago. But Fabuki's fiance, Alice Ichijo, was also metamorphosed. My brother and Fabuki began investigating the cause of Alice's metamorphosis. The case led them to find out about new Himuka's personality rehabilitation, metamorphosis technology, and the surveillance systems of each city. Excuse me, do you mean my Aunt Alice? That's right, she was your aunt. Have you heard anything? No. I was told she joined OSF and planned to leave when she turned 20, but she was killed in the line of duty. That's why my family was in such strong opposition to me being scouted. But since we're legally unable to refuse... Hey, I found a file on Alice Ichijo in the database. She looks exactly like Hanabi. Alice was the daughter of OSF Hospital's previous chairman. That's why she was engaged to Spring Pharmaceutical's Major General Fubuki. I think that's true. It's the first I've heard this, but it seems plausible. If this was a plan led by the new Himuka government, does that mean my father knew about it? Oh. I think he did. Moreover, it might be better to assume that he was at the center of it all. The Sumeragi family has a long history in politics, after all. And does my brother know about it, too? Am I the only one who was kept in the dark? Yuito, Kasane is coming. Eight o'clock. Kasane? Just hold on! We can talk this over! No point. You'll be dead. Why are you trying to kill me? At least tell me the reason. I told you I don't want to talk. If you're trying to kill you, Ito, I'll do everything to stop you. Just trying to stay out of this. Fine. Will you please calm down, Sugumi? Why? Kasane is out for blood. She may kill us if we don't give it our all. I didn't trust Seto and that got him killed. I won't make the same mistake twice. I'm going to stop Kasane. Careful, everyone. Why? 
Why are you trying to kill me? At least tell me the reason. I told you I don't want to talk. Why? Go, Yuito. It's you. If you're trading your Yuito, I'll do everything to stop you. I just wanted to stay out of this. Fine. Will you please calm down, Sugumi? <laughs> I didn't trust Seto and that got him killed. I won't make the same mistake twice. I'm going to stop Kasane.
Kasane, tell me, why did you kill my father and join Seiron? Is it because my father was involved in metamorphosis research? Because New Himuka turned Naomi into an other? So you found out about it too. Yes, that's exactly right. Hey, Kodama's coming. What? What is she doing here? Master Yuito! Kodama is here! Huh? Uh, wait, Kasane! Oh, that traitor Kasane is here too? That's fine. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Yuito. I'm Kodama Malone. I believe this is our first time meeting as well. Oh, you're right! But I'm only loyal to Master Yuito. What? Oh, Master Yuito, I have a message from Master Fubuki. He's taking care of everything, so you can come back now. So, are you on our side, Kodama? Of course! I am always on your side, Master Yuito. Officially, my position may be the leader of Kodama Platoon and Major General Fubuki's aide, my heart will always belong to you, Master Yuito. You could have just contacted us instead of coming all the way out here, Kodama. Maybe no one trusts you, Wataru. I mean, your sister went to Seiron after all. Shut up. Don't group me in with Haruka. And it wasn't just to deliver a message. I had to give this to you, too. What is it? Your medicine that was discarded at the OSF hospital. Oh. Is that okay? I don't mean to offend my uncle, but isn't it dangerous to take meds from the OSF hospital? Hanabi, and I'm sure you know why. Because the government is monitoring everyone. Exactly. Well, I'll be going back now. See you later, Master Yuito. Huh? This ampule... It's the same as the one I found in the abandoned underground subway. Why don't we stop by the hideout before returning to Suo, to go over everything we learned? We won't have to worry about anyone listening there. And don't worry, recording conversation data through my control system isn't allowed. Now that I think about it, Major General Fubuki probably prohibited recording in order to protect the OSF after he learned the truth about the government. Yeah, maybe. So much has happened. It feels like my brain is fried. 
Let's go over our situation first. Research on powers is being conducted at the old Ichijo OSF hospital building. It's likely they progressed in the research of the brain, gained the ability to turn people into others, and perform personality rehabilitation. Yes. You can't blame yourself. You didn't know about any of this. Yes. You are so kind to everyone. So, I think you should be kind to yourself, too. Thank you. Moving on. The government is well aware that we've come to know this information. Major General Fubuki is trying to put out the fires. But it would be best to consider the possibility that we will become fugitives from the government. Anyone on the run from the government won't survive. Wait, there's Seiron. Yes. Worst case scenario, we should consider fleeing to Seiron. And Yuito, how has your memory been? I haven't had any missing gaps in my memory recently. I think. If anything strange happens, please let us know. Although, concerning that medication you were prescribed... It was prescribed by the OSF hospital. It kinda scares me. Yes, I'm concerned as well. Right. I think it would probably be best to avoid taking it. Unless your condition significantly worsens. You're right. I'll do that. Hey, do you think it would be a good idea to ask my brother about this? Oh yeah, Chief Sumeragi is your older brother. I would advise against it. The Chief is with the government, after all. Of course, he is also your family. But any unnecessary contact would be dangerous right now. I wouldn't want to hinder Major General Fubuki in any way. <sighs> yes. You're right. Kaito, were you aware of New Himuka's power experiments? Did Dad and Kaito do that to Nagi? Damn it. The only one that was left in the dark was me. Only me. is turning people into others and my father and brother are in on it too i don't know who they really are maybe i'm the only one who doesn't know anything I don't think that's true. I'm not built to be especially kind. You don't even realize it. That's what makes you cool. 
Oh, I, um... Don't take it weird. I just think you're cool as a friend. something new. Luca, can I ask you something? Yes, I will answer if I can. Oh, is it about my brother? Uh, you mean former Major General Karin? No, not that. I wanted to ask you about yourself. We're fighting together now, so I wanted to know more about you. Uh, about me? Did I say something wrong? No, I was merely surprised. People mostly ask about my brother. So I don't usually talk about myself. Your brother is Karin, after all. Yes, for better or worse. Most people notice him. I am frequently in his shadow. So I tend to assume people want to talk about him. I apologize. Don't worry about it. I kind of understand how you feel. My older brother isn't like former Major General Karin, but he's known for always being an elite. And I'm me, so people are always comparing us. Chief Kaito. True. He must be very capable to become chief of the OSF at such a young age. It's hard having a brother that's good at everything. It makes it seem like you're bad at everything. I guess it's not like that for you. I mean, you're a Septentrion. The fact that you're just as good, if not better than your brother, is known among both the military and civilians. Regardless of what the military or civilians think of me, I'm no match for my brother. In a lot of ways. Huh? So, you wanted to know about me. What exactly did you have in mind? Yeah, right. Uh... What are your hobbies? <laughs> This is like an old-fashioned arranged marriage. Well, my hobby is exercising. Despite my looks, I enjoy honing my body. I created my own program a long time ago, and I exercise every day. Wow, exercise. He doesn't look like he works out. He's skinny and small. Did you just think he doesn't look like he works out? What? No, I didn't. Please be honest. I won't be angry. Uh... Yeah, I did think that. I didn't know you could read minds as well as teleport. It was written all over your face. You're not very good at lying. Good to know. Well, I understand why you would think that. It is very difficult for me to build muscle. However, by continuing, I am seeing gradual results. It is true that persistence pays off. You're a hard worker. Yes, but I enjoy exercising too. The more work you put into your muscles, the more results you will see. You should try working out. From the looks of you, I think you'd see good results. If you follow the training program I created, you'll be ripped in six months. Huh? Ripped? Tell me if there's an area you would like to train. If you want washboard abs or shoulders like melons. <laughs> melons? I don't want to get that big. Uh, I'll let you know later. Come to me anytime.
Gemma, want to go into town with me if you're free? Is something going on? We talked about checking out trends, remember? I looked up a lot of interesting places. Oh, that. Okay, I did promise you after all. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure you'll find something you like. I hope so. <sighs> Are you all right? Give me a little time to gather my thoughts. That was a lot to take in. I dragged him all over the place to show him the latest trends. But maybe I went a little overboard. Let's see. We've checked out all the new trendy spots. Was there one that caught your interest? What was that last one? I got mobbed by a herd of giant cats inside a room. Ah, the VR Cat Cafe. That was pretty crazy. It's apparently very popular with girls for their soothing effects. That was supposed to be soothing? Do youngsters these days find being buried in giant cats soothing? That is more like a nightmare. And before that one, we were trapped inside a tiny room and forced to do confusing puzzles. Right, the escape room. I thought that was pretty fun solving the riddles with vision. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, at least. Which means you didn't. Sorry, I should have researched better. No, I'm sorry to be complaining so much. It's not your fault. I just don't know how to enjoy them. I had no idea that amusement had changed so much. This is much different from the era I'm familiar with. To be honest, I can't keep up. I see. I'm sorry. Maybe we can grab something to eat to salvage the day. All right, but what to eat? I don't really eat here that often. They have a lot of different kinds of dishes here. What do you usually like to eat? Hmm. I'm not really very particular about my food. I guess I like gyoza if I had to choose. Gyoza? Oh, they have some interesting looking gyoza here. A new and popular dish the chef recommends. Not so. I don't really have a good feeling about it, but we came here to check out what's trending among the young people after all. You don't need to force yourself. It's okay. I've made up my mind. Let's do what we came here to do. Thank you for waiting. Here's our restaurant special variety gyoza platter. Please use any combination of these 10 sauces. Enjoy. What, what is this? Green, yellow, red, black. Are these supposed to be gyoza? <laughs> Seems like these are the restaurant's original gyoza. Apparently, they all have different fillings. Their shapes are just as strange as their colors. I see a round one, a square one, and this one has spikes. Is this what gyozas have come to in this day and age? I can't believe how much the food I once knew has changed. Hmm? Well, they look weird, but they actually taste really good. Why don't you try one? Eat this? I'm not thrilled about it, but I can't stand here and waste food. All right. Hmm. You're right. This doesn't taste bad. It's not what I'm familiar with, but it's interesting. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, they look weird, but you can't know until you eat them. Maybe I was too wary because they seem strange. They're pretty delicious. If you can appreciate these, that means you learned how to enjoy one of the latest food trends. Hmm. Just because these gyozas happen to taste good doesn't mean I've learned to adapt to this age. I think your ability to appreciate them is important. That you were able to get past the way they look. You may have a point. At the end of the day, people still enjoy the same types of things. Even if those things may have changed. Yeah, exactly. I may have failed choosing good spots for you today, but I had fun checking them out together. I wasn't able to enjoy the newest trends, but I did have fun walking around the city. I felt behind the times every time I experienced something new. Time may pass, but our true nature remains constant. Just that our perspectives may have changed. Hmm. That hit the spot. Thank you for the meal. You're finished eating already? You must have really liked those. 
This might be my new favorite food. I guess trying new things isn't so bad. Well, let's do this again sometime. That's fine with me, but please, no more of that cat cafe. I don't dislike cats, but it's unsettling when they're that large. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Okay, we won't go there again. It seems part of it was a little too much for him. But I'm glad he ended up enjoying himself overall. I'm stating the obvious, but you're young. Well, I'm younger than you. I know I was young once, too. I just can't really remember it. You should cherish this time while you have it. I think I'm beginning to learn who you are as a person. I feel like I've learned about you, too. <laughs> 